Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Denis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. Let's zoom in to the Bakhmut city because there is some change that concerns me a little bit because Russia continue to move towards the city. You see the grey area is vast here, it means that the fighting is ongoing in the city itself and Russia it's been confirmed that it's moved to the private sector so if we go to the satellite image the photo is not a great here but still you may see lots of the households they're quite small but Russia is in a city and we also don't know about the gray area over here and we know for sure that Russia was not able to cross the river over here as for the bridge here, it was destroyed, so Russia is unable to move uh, to the other part of the city. That is why I think in a worst case scenario they may take all the city, but just this side of it. And the other part, the most populated, at least it used to be, I hope now most of the civilians were evacuated from the area and Russia continued to use artillery systems to target uh, the city center, so it will stay under Ukrainian control. And let's check out the timeline for one week ago and see the Russian advancement in one week. So on 7th of December and little by little, so they advanced over the lake, but later on were thrown back, but still advancement continued and we can clearly see that they have success in this region but honestly speaking my friends i think bakhmut is the last success that russian army may have on the front lines this winter at least and they thrown the main forces to take the city still unsuccessfully if we go from bakhmut to the north side there was the front line correction some of the fighting ongoing over there and uh, some of the villages go from one hand to another and uh, just recently it's been confirmed that russia took kovalevka it doesn't mean that they took it before with the fighting but maybe it's just a new information coming from the front lines that those territories were actually under russian control even before putin is getting ready to test the yars ballistic nuclear missile it's the one of the biggest missiles they have and it can reach united states of america whether they will test it with a warhead with nuclear one I'm not sure about it and those tests are banned according to the United Nations uh, resolutions. The only country that still conducts those tests is the North Korea. Russia continued to send more reinforcements to Belarusian territory and this time those are tracks and refueling vehicles that are used mostly for supplies. Those photos were taken not far away from Ukrainian border and still they are in lack of the battalions that could successfully attack Ukrainian territory. That is why the International Institute of the War Researches of the United States say that it's highly unlikely that Belarusia would dare to attack Ukraine together with the Russian forces in a nearby future. Ukraine is going to receive the new air defense systems, those are SAMP slash T, and they are French Italian uh, made in collaboration, looks very similar to Patriot systems. And about the Patriot systems, uh, yesterday I read the news that it was was already negotiated with the United States that uh, those systems will be delivered to Ukraine as well. So there were some talks with the German side. Finally, Germany sent their systems, their Patriots, to Poland and Ukraine will have uh, Patriot systems from United States of America. That's, I think, 100%. I'm sure about it because United States officials already said about it. In a new package of the help to Ukraine, military help, we're gonna have those. And I'm sure that not just Patriots will be delivered to Ukraine, but also the long-range missiles to hit the ground targets. Also, Ukraine will have Leopard 2 tanks delivered to us by Germany. It's the new pace of war where Ukraine should get lots of the territories very fast and with 
without the tanks and long range missiles it is not possible so i'm sure that we're gonna have everything it was the shahid drone attack this morning in kiev and not only most of them were shut down by ukrainian air defense but still those drones are very tricky they're noisy but uh, during the night time it's very hard to spot them so as you see a residential building was hit with the drone uh, also those drones are made out of the composite materials and not every raider can spot them this video came from the south part of ukraine and it shows why there is no counter-attack from ukrainian forces right now you just see the ground turned to some sort of the swamp uh, the temperature is plus 10 as average on the south and with the rains with everything so we are waiting for the frosts and in january i expect the counterattack on melitopol ukraine may get 30 more modernized t-72 tanks from the czech republic before united states and netherlands agreed with the czech republic to give ukraine 90 units of those tanks and now we want 30 more and negotiations are ongoing about that so totally 120 tanks will go to ukraine from the czech republic and this is the russian version how they put their armored vehicles from the train so basically they put the long rope and push it from the train very effective method very fast and human friendly <laughs> The Times article, which referred to General Lieutenant Robert McGowan, says that Brits use their special forces in Ukraine, Royal Marines, for the secret missions. Kind of interesting, but I know that we have some of the representatives from United Kingdom. I know one guy, even before the war, they trained our soldiers over here, and those guys are awesome. United States has no expectations that fighting in Ukraine will stop this winter and most of the experts agree that this war may continue even for years for Putin's regime it's critical for the next year they will spend one third of their Russian budget to support their weak army and I think that the most part of that money will go to someone's pocket so the longer the war continues the harder it is for Russia and Ukraine is small country compared to Russia we have a less population but we have more support from the rest of the world and that means that potentially Ukraine has more resources speaking about even artillery shells the United States and allies increase the development of the shells that are used for artillery Russia simply cannot produce that amount of the shells and that is why in the beginning of the next year they will run out of ammo so their artillery will be less effective and in that case they need more meat cannon fodder on the front lines and even now they call for all of the men to join the army voluntarily but believe me right after the russian christmas parties they will announce one more mobilization they simply don't have the other way out and they also provide land lease for ukrainian army for example this msta s self-propelled artillery system uh, was captured by ukrainian forces and delivered to ukrainian army after some repairs it will fight against russians it just been reported that in Bransk Oblast, again, there are some explosions. Before, like two days ago, there were explosions on the Russian military base at this particular place. This is the Russian Avax. It was delivered to Belarus recently. The name of the airplane is A-50. Basically, it's Illusion 76 with this uh, radar on the top that is used for the radar surveillance. And they might help to identify Ukrainian forces and also our airplanes. The problem for Russia is that they have just a few of those airplanes and NATO has lots of them and they constantly fly near to Ukrainian borders giving us information about the Russian rockets, Russian aviation and drones. The White House representative Kirby said that Iran will send the ballistic rockets 
to Russian side. They have the confirmation of that deal. Also, before United States officials say that their aim is to cut the supplies of the weaponry from Iran to Russia using all kind of means. And in future, we're gonna see something may go wrong with the Iranian airplanes or ships that may deliver those rockets could be like that. The maiden flight of the new jet Bayraktar was conducted today in Turkey. Awesome airplane and it should fly for more than 700 kilometers an hour. It's very fast. It's made out of the special composite materials that cannot be identified by the raiders. So this bird could be very effective. And about some personal stuff. Yesterday I wasn't able to film the video for you. Sorry my friends, I was on a flight simulator check. I passed it successfully in Paris, France. As you can see here is the Sim Ira training center. It's very close to the Charles de Gaulle airfield. Those guys are awesome because they provide training well flight simulators for free for ukrainian pilots so basically if you have instructor and partner uh, for your flights you may do it for free it's awesome sim ira thank you so much for your kind support of ukrainian pilots there are not many pilots in ukraine but still you do a fantastic job thank you for what you do Greetings to Paris. And I'm gonna keep you updated on situation in Ukraine. If you want to support this channel, just press the like button. If you want to help me financially, there are some of the links in the video description below. You may support me on Patreon, PayPal, or Donatella, whichever is more convenient for you. Thank you so much for your kind support, my friends. I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.